Last night, we posted a video late at night featuring this trailer that came out a bit early, in my opinion. It was supposed to come out on the 8th, yet it came out on the 7th, kind of revealing the update, what's going to be happening inside of Diablo Immortal as Diablo 4 encroaches in on that space. We know of a bunch of things that are coming to Diablo Immortal that come from the world of Diablo 4, and in my opinion, that is all very exciting. But today, we're not here to break down the trailer. We're not getting our first look at it because we did that yesterday. Instead, we are going to be going into some more patch notes that we had that came out, well, last night that I'm bringing to you guys now. Let's do a few things here. First of all, let's make this a little bit easier for you to see and dive into all of this. The first annual expansion piece of Diablo Immortal Destruction Reborn will officially launch tomorrow, June 8th, um, opening a new chapter of the 2.0 version of the adventure. I believe that many adventurers are already gearing up and can't help but want to show their strengths and be ready to receive a large wave of anniversary event gifts. We'll see some of those gifts later on in this post itself. But adventurers, don't worry. While waiting for the anniversary, Diablo Immortal has opened a wonderful limited time afterglow for you. What is the afterglow? And the event rewarding is 5-2 high quality legendary gem. So is that a five star, but two, two stars out of the five star legendary gem? Is that what we're talking about? Challenges and rewards coexist. Adventures, are you ready to uncover the truth behind the shadows? Interesting. Here's an image. We've seen this one before, but it looks like it is. Uh, it looks like it's dark, dingy and beautiful. In my opinion, the dusty church tells the secrets of the past. Dark night, hidden light, evening wind bleak. The bleak wind of the wasted blew into the dilapidated church. Let me also remind you guys, these are all coming from the Chinese patch notes. So what we're seeing or what we're reading could be a little bit wonky when it comes to the uh, translations. Just know that ahead of time. In the dusty church windows, there are faint scarlet gleam. The adventurers take a closer look at the church. They will find that there are after there are after images inter in intertwined in the empty and lovely church but the interior furnishings are neat and new which is completely different from the dilapidated appearance of the church which makes people feel a strong sense of abruptness look up looking intently through the misty mist the misty mist that's funny a cold light flashed on the outline of the central sculpture from time to time so there's a little bit of lightning going on everything seems to be telling that the church has spanned a long time who can unlock it dust laden secrets all right so we have some rewards that we're gonna be able to get in here we have the rare crest we have some new legendary gems it looks like some legendary gear and what looks to be something for the new class i'm not sure if this is unlocking the new class or if it's unlocking a cosmetic for the new class time will tell let's see if they tell us anything more here the limited time event is now online. So by the time you're watching this, it may be there, or if not, it's gonna be there soon. The event time is from June 1st through August 2nd, a two month adventure, a two month adventure. Oh, okay, so June through August, yes. A two month adventure is waiting for you to explore. Adventures only need to wipe off the dust uh, on the, the panes of the church and reveal the contents of the panes. This is the glass. When we saw the different colored glass, the stained glass, where we're gonna be unlocking different things. You've probably unlocked the first one already, which is the first teasing of the Shadow Knight. The other panes will bring more things in the future. They'll be able to dispel the fog on the central statue and un unravel the mysteries of the dusty church for a long time. Since the evil forces disrupted the sky on June 1st, many adventurers have joined the journey to uncover the secrets. Tomorrow, giant monsters will return to the ground, bringing new threats to Sanctuary. On June 15th, adventurers who will work together to find the evil forces behind it. On June 28th, the legendary ancient demon god will strike again, and a devastating crisis will come. On July 13th, adventurers will face the challenge, and they light up the statue and reveal the after image. Can you successfully explore the truth behind the church? Let us wait and see. So we're going to actually be able to see what, so we can see the panes of glass here, the panes right there. Those are going to be revealed. There's two more over here. And then we'll be able to see what this statue is. 
which we already know is the Shadow Knight, but we'll take a better look when that time comes. Complete the task on a specific date, and the secrets of the pain are gradu gradually revealed. Adventurers must unlock rewards such as two star legendary gems, limited avatar frames, enhanced immortal keystones, and special expressions. During the upcoming anniversary celebrations, when adventurers are celebrating, don't forget to return to the church on specific day to continue the challenge. Here are some of the rewards that we're talking about. These are the expressions. There are emotes. We have the frame, the legendary gems, and of course, rare uh, legendary crests. Did I, I may have said rare crest before. If I did, I apologize. They are legendary, not the ones we can sell. Rewards waiting for adventures. Unraveling the cocoon, exploring the mottled glimmer after the after image, not afraid of harp ships, exploring the secrets annihilated in the thick time. If the adventurers finally reveal all the secrets of the cathedral, they may uh, they can get extra rewards for free. In addition to the five two star new mysterious legendary gem, there are also new mysterious costumes, including armor, um, weapons, and portals. They can be collected for free. That's nice to see that we're gonna be able to get some cosmetics in here for free as an anniversary present from Blizzard. Thank you, Blizzard. We'll see how that all comes out. Here are some more of the rewards that they're talking about: legendary gems, more legendary gems. And these are some of the cosmetics. All right, it looks like a cosmetic here, a weapon here, and a portal right here. So these are apparently three of the rewards that we could be getting for free. The shining mysterious gifts have already made the adventurers very excited. More importantly, this event is also related to the new profession that will debut in July. So essentially the new character class. As long as you participate in the event and reveal the secrets hidden in the pain step by step, you'll be able to get clues to the new job in Sanctuary. Who exactly is our new friend? I believe many adventures are all of are full of guesses. If you want to know more, don't miss the after image will be bright event. All right, so there's our Shadow Knight right there. And the little bit more that we have, a little bit more details is the after image will be bright and the grand ceremony will begin. The first annual annual expansion piece of Diablo Immortal, Destruction Rebirth, will officially meet with you tomorrow. And the surprise linkage Diablo 4 will start a new adventure chapter. As the anniversary celebration is about to start, let's enjoy the journey of revealing the secrets carefully prepared by Diablo Immortal for adventurers. Some of the things that we're getting out of this that are most exciting are the rewards that we can gain right here that we have a nice long event as well. I like that it spans over a two month period of time. It's gonna give us something to continuously log into. It's also giving Blizzard a little bit of time to create the actual content that they're trying to put out. I mean, putting out a whole new class inside of the game is a big deal. In addition to this, we're getting the new zone, we're getting the new raid bosses, um, we're getting a new PVP zone or a PVP gameplay method inside of the new zone that we have coming so there really is a lot coming to diablo immortal i love how they're bringing the two worlds together we also have the new cosmetics coming as well both the children of lilith battle pass cosmetics five bucks you'll see that in the game tomorrow and the other lilith battle pa uh, i'm sorry the other lilith skins which are essentially those 170 dollars skin packs which you can then use on all of your classes i won't be purchasing that one but many people will there's a lot coming to Diablo Immortal. A lot of people are playing Diablo 4, but many of us have not forgotten about Diablo Immortal and many still play on the side as well. So don't give up on it. There's so many new things coming to the game, exciting things for sure. And I will be sure to bring you all of the information as I get it, as well as guides and walkthroughs and playthroughs to keep us entertained and to make us the best players we can be inside of Diablo Immortal. The best way for you to be part of all that is to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the videos I put out every single day, the moment new information drops.